from the TV5 News Center. This is the noon edition of Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, I'm Stan Carmack. Today, the noon edition welcomes Lily Bliss as new permanent co-anchor. Coming up on KCTV5, 600 anti-nuclear protesters march at the launching of the Navy's newest nuclear sub. And Jesse Jackson calls a reduced minimum wage unfair to teenagers. Good evening, I'm Thurman Mitchell. And I'm Jamie McFerrin. Again, the cutbacks have already begun. You're watching KCTV5, Kansas City's satellite news station, offering exclusive closed caption newscasts for the hearing impaired. This is KCTV5, Kansas City's News, with Wendell Anschutz, Ann Peterson, Mike Thompson, and Don Fortune. You're watching KCTV5, Kansas City's number one station for news, where we always take you one step further. This is KCTV5, Kansas City's News, with Wendell Anschutz, Ann Peterson, Mike Thompson, and Jack Harry. You're watching KCTV5, Kansas City This Morning. Brought to you by Venture Stores. Good morning, Reed Block sitting in for Stan Carmack. You're watching KCTV5, Kansas City's television. This is KCTV5, Kansas City's News with Wendell Anschutz, Ann Peterson, meteorologist Mike Thompson, and Don Fortune Sports. Good evening. You're watching KCTV, Kansas City's television. A good afternoon to you. I'm Lily Shank. And I'm Dennis Dota. Topping our news this day at least. You're watching KCTV, Kansas City's television. Now, Wendell Anschutz, Ann Peterson, Mike Thompson Weather, and Don Fortune Sports. This is Kansas City's News at 10. Judge Clarence Thomas overcomes 11th hour accusations of sexual harassment. You're watching KCTV, Kansas City's television. Now, Wendell Anschutz, Ann Peterson, Mike Thompson Weather, and Jack Harry Sports. This is Kansas City's News at 10. Hello again. You're watching KCTV. Kansas City's television. The planes are still flying tonight, and employees of TWA hope with their hand in the management. You're watching KCTV, Kansas City's television. Now, Brent Hunsaker, Fred Broski Weather, and Jack Harry Sports. This is Kansas City's News This Weekend. Good evening. In Kansas City, 5 stands for news. This is News 5 at 5. Hello, I'm Wendell Anschutz. And I'm Melissa Smith. In Kansas City, 5 stands for news. This is News 5 at 10. Good evening, I'm Wendell Anschutz. I'm Tracy Townsend. News 5 at 10 continues now with Wendell Anschutz and Tracy Townsend. In Kansas City, 5 stands for news. This is News 5 this weekend. Kansas City, 5 stands for news. This is News 5 at 10. Good evening. I'm now, 
on KCTV 5 News at 6. A 14-year-old girl recovers after a near drowning at a local swimming pool. State health officials cite an independence nursing home for health violations. And hundreds of kids bond with this hairless chimp. Good evening, everyone. I'm Barbara Porter. And I'm Dee Griffin. News that makes a difference. This is KCTV 5 News at 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dee Griffin. The Democrats attack. The president responds. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is KCTV 5 News at noon. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is KCTV 5 News at noon. Today at noon, you'll learn why residents at a Kansas City apartment complex woke up to a big, wet mess. The missing family of a seriously injured man is finally found. And new information this afternoon following a high-speed motorcycle crash. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brian Curtis. Carolyn has a day off. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is KCTV 5 News at 10. New tonight at 10, a family reacts to the latest news in the prospect killings case. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is more in the morning on KCTV 5. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is More in the Morning, Saturday, on KCTV 5. Right now. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is KCTV 5 News at noon. The verdict is in for the man accused of sparking a fire that killed a little girl. A new center is opening to help locate missing Metro children, but they are looking to reach out much further. If your afternoon snack has peanut butter on it, you might want to think again before taking a bite. Good afternoon. A judge takes the middle of the road in ruling on the fate of an accused arsonist. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is KCTV 5 News at 4. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is KCTV 5 News at 6. Live, late-breaking, investigative. This is KCTV 5 News at 10. Late breaking, investigating. This is KCTV 5 News. Live, late breaking, investigating. This is KCTV 5 News. Live, late breaking, investigating. This is KCTV 5's More in the Morning. 855 on this Friday, 65 degrees outside. Live, late breaking, investigating. This is More in the Morning, Saturday, on KCTV 5. It's From KCTV 5 News, it's your morning Sunday. From KCTV 5 News, it's your morning at 7 a.m. on KSMO-TV. This is KCTV 5 News at 5.30. KCTV 5 News, it's your morning at 4.30 a.m. Or the reporter's hair. You don't mess with the reporter's hair. That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we do it. Yeah. 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 Definitely a vibe through the city right now. And that royal vibe is back in Kansas City. The hunt for another blue October starts today, and the news starts now. This is KCTV 5 News at 6.30. Good morning to you, and welcome to opening day. KCTV 5 News at noon. Right now, fire investigators in Kansas City are busy looking into two major building fires. You're watching KCTV 5 News at noon. This is KCTV 5 News at 4. You're watching KCTV 5 News at 4. This is KCTV 5 News at 9. Tonight at 9, two people are dead and a highway is shut down after a horrific crash. This is KCTV 5 News at 10. Chopper 5 flew above Jackson County as officers search for a homicide suspect. This is KCTV 5 News at 10. Take a look at this storm system. 
You're watching KCTV 5 News at 10. From KCTV 5, this is Off the Bench with Sports Director Michael Coleman. Look at us being all fancy. Good evening. Welcome to Off the Bench. I'm your host, Michael Coleman, here in the studio at our High V Sports desk. The Royals, they have done the improbable. They've won eight straight postseason games to earn their spot back in the World Series. Now, breaking news on KCTV 5 News. Two breaking news stories tonight. First, an officer was hurt at Kaufman in an ATV accident. From the station that stands for Kansas City. This is KCTV 5 News this morning at 4.30. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. It is a raw day. Another As one. your dad likes to say. Yes. Right? <laughs> From the station that stands for Kansas City. With Alexis Del Cid. Rob Finnerty. Meteorologist Gary Amble. And meteorologist Lisa Teachman. This is KCTV 5 News this morning. Hey, welcome back. Another wet, cold start out there this morning. From the station that stands for Kansas City. This is KCTV 5 News This Morning Sunday. Good morning. It's 930 on this Sunday. I'm Ashley Arnold in for Natalie Davis. From the station that stands for Kansas City. This is KCTV 5 News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Rob Finnerty. Carolyn is off today. From the station that stands for Kansas City. This is KCTV 5 News at 5. Another Royals player goes down with an injury. From the station that stands for Kansas City. This is KCTV 5 News at 5.30. We begin with a live look at Arrowhead Stadium where... From the station that stands for Kansas City. This is KCTV 5 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Amy Anderson. From the station that stands for Kansas City. This is KCTV 5 News at 9. Good evening, I'm Amy Anderson. From the station that stands for Kansas City. This is KCTV 5 News at 10. Tonight, dozens of people are forced out of this apartment complex. From the station that stands for Kansas City. With Brad Stevens. Ellen McNamara. Chief Meteorologist Chris Suchan. And Sports with Michael Coleman. This is KCTV 5 News. Tonight, you're watching KCTV 5 News at 10. Now, breaking news from KCTV 5 News. That breaking news is in Kansas City, where police say a child was hit by a car. This is your KCTV 5 News update. This is your KCTV 5 News flash briefing. Good morning, everyone. I'm Gina Bullard with your Alexa update. Live from the station that stands for Kansas City, this is KCTV 5 News this morning at 4.30. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Gina Bullard. And I'm Joe Chiodo. Glad you're starting off your Wednesday. KCTV 5 News at 4.30 a.m. starts now. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for waking up with us. And KCTV 5 News at 4.30 a.m. starts now. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Thanks so much for waking up with us. KCTV 5 News at 5 a.m. starts now. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday to you. Monday. KCTV 5 News at 5 a.m. starts now. All right. Good morning, everybody. 5 o'clock here on your Monday. Live from the station that stands for you. This is KCTV 5 News this morning at 6. KCTV 5 News at 6 a.m. starts now. KCTV 5 News at 6 a.m. starts now. 
First week of December and we're talking 50s. Crazy. All right, I'll wake up to that. <laughs> Live from the station that stands for you, this is KCTV 5 News This Morning, Saturday. It all leads up to this. Live from the station that stands for Kansas City, this is KCTV 5 News at Noon. Good afternoon to you. I'm Carolyn Long. KCTV 5 News at Noon starts now. A massive tech merger with potentially huge ramifications. You're watching KCTV 5 News at Noon. KCTV 5 News at 4 o'clock starts now. Animal Control is calling it one of the worst hoarding cases they have ever seen in Kansas City. KCTV 5 News at 5 o'clock starts now. A disgusting discovery. More than 300 animals taken from a Kansas City duplex. Yeah, and many of them rats. KCTV 5 News at 5 o'clock starts now. We begin here at 5 with an update in the murder of four-year-old legend Talafaro. You're watching KCTV 5 News at 5 o'clock. Live from the station that stands for you. This is KCTV 5 News at 6 p.m. Rivers continue rising across western Missouri and eastern Kansas. Put KCTV 5 News at 6 o'clock starts now. Tonight, the ongoing debate over tenant rights in Kansas City, Missouri. Live from the station that stands for you. This is KCTV 5 News at 7 p.m. on KSMO. KCTV 5 News Sunday at 7 o'clock. Clock starts now. Once he got up and he took communion, is Kansas City's most watched news at 10 p.m. starts with your Storm Track 5 forecast first. And a very good evening to you. Live from the station that stands for you, this is KCTV 5 News at 10 p.m. Unsettling moments outside an elementary school. KCTV 5 News at 10 o'clock starts now. Imagine the holiday season without lights. The plaza definitely wouldn't be the same. Live from the station that stands for Kansas City, this is KCTV 5 News at 10 p.m. Sunday. Second and goal. You're watching KCTV 5 News at 10 p.m. Right now, the brutal attack. I'm angry, but I'm also scared. This local woman's story could protect you. You. Unstoppable, only on five, have been shot several times, transformed a KC man into an amazing athlete. Prepping for the vice president, the controversy he'll face during his Kansas City visit. Kansas City KCTV 5 News at 10 starts now. And tonight we begin with breaking news out of Wisconsin where a suspected gas line explosion has leveled several buildings. Now live breaking news from KCTV 5 News. Breaking news right now, we are following developments out of a Kansas City neighborhood. Now live breaking news from KCTV 5 News. We are learning more about that terrible crash last night. KCTV 5 News. This is the Nebraska Furniture Mart Locker Room Show. Happy Father's Day, good evening, and welcome into the Nebraska Furniture Mart Locker Room Show. You're watching the Nebraska Furniture Mart Locker Room Show. This is your KCTV 5 News Update. If you didn't know or you maybe went to bed early last night, the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. KCTV 5 News starts now. Thank you so much for waking up with us, AFC champions. I'm Carolina Cruz. <laughs> I'm Belinda Post. KCTV 5 News starts now. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Carolyn Long. Moderna's coronavirus vaccine on the verge of being approved for emergency use here in the United States. Tonight on KCTV 5 News at 10, vaccines and work. We're breaking down brand new rules about your boss, your workplace, and the COVID-19 vaccine. Plus, international experience. This disaster happened in everybody's backyard, so we're ready to help. A humanitarian group that's dealt with epidemics in the past stands ready to help KC with COVID now. KCTV 5 News starts now. Tomorrow, a second COVID shot could be approved. Just hours ago, an FDA committee voted to recommend the Moderna shot for emergency use. 
Breaking news overnight. The U.S. government has carried out the execution of Lisa Montgomery. Live, late-breaking, investigative KCTV 5 News.